Hey guys, it's Willow. Today I want to do a deep dive into the lab for you and explain how it works, how it is to be used, and hopefully answer some questions that you may have had. The lab needs to be purchased for 10 mythical stones and then it comes with the first level. The seven additional levels would need to be purchased and here's a chart on the cost of each level. You can see that the cost of each level gets very expensive fast. And the reason for that is because it's designed so that you cannot purchase the higher levels too quickly. It is designed to be a progressive tool. So the first level here is included with the 10 stones that you spend to purchase the lab. And you'll see that the things offered here are all things that you will need very early on in the game when you're first starting out, like gold, damage, your magnet, drops, etc. Then each tier going up is going to include things that you will need as you progress through the game, like shiny luck, um, discovery luck, which would be for rebirthing. Once you start your metallic hunt, then you would be able to um, get level four here. And then you'll see in the upper tiers here, um, that contains things that you will need for mining. Each level requires a certain amount of these um, little potions, these bottles, in order to advance to the next level once you have it unlocked. And you earn those potions by completing tasks. On the task page, you can see what tasks still need to be completed and which ones have already been completed. If you want to hide the completed tasks, you can just uncheck mark them. Also, there is the um, pin feature here where if there is a task that you're working on, you can pin it to your main screen so that you can see it without having to come into your um, lab task page here. So for example, um, if I was working on getting 40,000 egg lux, I could pin that and then close this screen. And you see it appears right here on my main screen so that I can keep an eye on my progress. You can also unpin it if you want it to go away. So as you move through these tasks, you will earn potion bottles. These never go away. You do not lose these. So um, even if you reset a page, you still keep what you have already earned. So you can see here, um, I have 127 available for use. And if I use them, then it says zero. If I were to um, reset this page, which I would be able to do in about eight minutes, if I were to reset this page, this will go back to 127. I do not lose my potion bottles. Okay, so one very common question that people have is why are there three pages? And the reason for that is that this is designed so that you can create three unique paths for whatever you will be working on and interchange between them. So you could have a path here specifically for um, rebirthing. You could have another one for metallic hunting and you could have a third one for um, mining giants. Once you reset a page, you cannot reset it again or reset any of your three pages for one hour. You can continue to add to an existing activated page as long as you have potions available. However, it will not let you make changes. So once you have selected something, if you've made a mistake, you have to wait one hour until you can reset and try again. Now you can have these preset pages saved here and in your mind know that one is for this, two is for that, and three is for this. But the reason you have the ability to reset them is because you can use them for very specific things. So when you're working on tasks, let's say that you're working on finding hidden eggs in 30 minutes. 
you're probably going to want to increase your speed so that you're running around the map faster. Um, if you're working on exotic crystal task, you're obviously going to want to pick things that pertain to exotic crystals, so on and so forth. So that is why there are three pages and your ability to reset and activate them interchangeably. Then finally selecting what you want on each page. So if we look at a, a brand new page here that has been reset, you have to pick at least 10 on this first level to advance to the second level if you have it unlocked. Now this can be any combination of 10 potions. So you could put five and five, you could put three, three, three and one, any combination of 10. Once you have done that, you'll see it'll say 10 out of 10 and it will unlock the next tier. Also, you can choose to um, max level, which means it'll just automatically add five potions because that's the maximum that's available right here. Or if you want to do a combination of many things equaling 10, then you use this one here, which will only level it up by one potion at a time. So for example, I have gold highlighted here. If I just hit the level up one, you see that it only adds one out of five here. So I could then put nine potions somewhere else. Or if I just hit max, it makes it five out of five. Okay, so now that I have selected five out of five here, you see that this next level has unlocked because I have purchased it. And then I would pick 10 more things here and that will unlock the next level and so on and so forth. So this was just a quick video to hopefully answer any questions you may have been having about the lab. If there's anything that I didn't discuss that you have a question about, please leave me a comment. Also, if there's anything else that you may want to see a video made about, please leave me a comment. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you so much to my subscribers. I appreciate you very much. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you in the next video.